Hey, what's up, guys? This is Ton Ton here, and welcome back to my channel. So, yesterday we have the online event of Hasbro Post Fan Fest, and with it comes a bunch of new Transformer, which is in specific the Wave 3 of Kingdom. So, what do we have on this wave? So here we begin with the first core class, which is the smallest guy. We have the core class Dragon Corn, and this is essentially a green repaint of the core class Vegabrek. And I don't expect anything new up this figure, and I might not getting Dragon Corn because, in my opinion, Vegabrek was not that really exciting to handle and to collect. And so I think one mold of that figure is enough for my taste. Then next up we have the Deluxe class Scorponox from Beast War. So I'm gonna show a little bit of pictures of this guy and to be honest with you, I enjoy this guy's scorpion form a lot more than his robot form. And the reason for that is that I find the robot proportion to be kind of odd and not that much interesting in my opinion. So I still gotta get this guy for sure. But then again, his scorpion form will be my favorite. And next up we have an a Maximo fossilizer. So this is Wing Finger and the form is a pterodactyl and I must say I quite enjoyed this figure I love the proportion, I love the skinny and like stick man kind of proportion and I think it would be really cool if I can remove those tip of the wing and place them as dagger or some kind of crossbow and I think this wing finger will look good next to combining with my air razor I would love to see the two pairs together and next up for the Voyager class we have the Voyager class Rhinox and I must say proportion wise for the Rhino mode, this looks a lot more alike from a real life Rhino than generation versions. But upon looking for the robot mode, I find it quite frustrating. I mean like, it's still gonna be a great figure and I'm still gonna purchase him. But if I have to compare the robot proportion with the generation versions, I would prefer the generation versions due to its more Beast War accuracy. And I think at this moment, this figure, they have have not yet grown on me yet and I'm moving on to this pick so yeah we still have we have a core class sound wave which will be transformed into a cassette and there will be a tape which is laser big and next up we have the new commander class Rodimus Prime which is a studio series 86 upscaling and with the new trailer and I'm really looking forward for this guy right here and next up we have a re-release of the Earthrise Wheel Jack and the reason for that we release I'm gonna update in the next part of the video. We have a deluxe class track that is really cool figures. I absolutely gonna get him. And also we have the leader class Gavatron, which I have already got a review of. So check out that review, link will be in the description. And then we have the main event, which is the next up Titan class, and we have the Ark. And this is such a beautiful figure. I must say for apart from the with all the three Titan class, which is Omega Supreme, Scorponox, and now we have the Ark. The Ark must be my favorite. I enjoy it a lot. I mean, look at that proportion. That is really nice. And moving on, here's the Ark Transform, and we even have a Teletran 1. So this is the first time that Teletran 1 got a figure of itself, and he's a Transformer as well. He can transform. And so the reason for Ruzak to be re-released will be to play with Teletran 1 in case you miss his Earthrise form. And I think the two will be looks really great together. Next up, we got a repaint of Bratonite. And this is in a really hot color scheme. This is like the magma color scheme. And he's still the same figure, except for that he got a bunch of effect parts to come with. And I think this is, will be the selling point of this release to get the effect parts that you guys missed. And finally, we have a repaint of Studio Series 86 Blur. But this time, this is a Shadow Glass universe and I must say I'm gonna get this guy for sure because just look at the face scope I absolutely adore that menacing crazy sociopath face scope of this blur right here definitely getting this guy and so looking forward to him and finally this is the main event the $700 Optimus Prime so, so here we have the auto converting voice control advanced robot collector's edition of Optimus Prime I mean that's to say this guy's a voice control auto transform auto poses Optimus Prime where you can control him via voice command or you can there's an app I know I'm, I'm gonna review this guy in the future I have pre-ordered him last night and I'm so excited to get him onto my hand and uh, before that let's check out some features of this guy in this video Introducing the world's first auto-converting 
interactive, voice-enabled, programmable Autobot hero, Optimus Prime. Greetings. The Transformers toy that defined a generation comes to life by the command of your voice or mobile device. Standing an amazing 19 inches tall, 5,000 components finished with premium materials make this G1 Optimus Prime impressively authentic. Decepticons detected. 60 microchips power the 27 high-performance servo motor joints, empowering Optimus Prime to fully auto-convert and operate in both robot and vehicle mode. Let's go! Control your Optimus Prime with an extensive library of voice commands, like attack, fire now, or use the mobile app. Every collector will enjoy the preloaded actions, with more to come via download that unlock new features and the ability to create your own sequences with graphical programming within the app. Built by Robosyn and licensed by Hasbro, this limited edition Optimus Prime delivers endless ability to save the planet interactively. Till all are one. So that could be it for today's talk show. I'll see you later. But before that, tell me what you think about this wave figures. And also subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram and then if you feel like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee link will be in the description below and definitely check out that Gavatron review link still in the description Tantan out <laughs>